It was day two of Utah Badlands, and we had spent the night camped at Collet Top on the Kaiparowicz Plateau. The plan for today was to drive through left-hand Collet Canyon and then travel Hole in the Rock Road. Research the day before the trip began had revealed that left-hand Collet Canyon had some rockfall, but remained passable, and Hole in the Rock Road was, quote, beginning to washboard. In addition, there was rain in the forecast for this evening. So, aware of possible options should our plans go awry, we headed toward the descent into Left Hand Collet Canyon. And we're arriving at the turnoff from Left Hand Collet Canyon. Steep downhill, or low. Crawling on down. You guys have a very pretty, very dramatic view coming up. Or the gas right here. This is as slow as it will engine brake. Uh, I am in four uh, low third gear and not touching the brakes, as you can see. You can see the road down at the bottom at your nine o'clock when you're coming around this bend. called 50 mile range or 50 mile mountain or something. This is the only way up and down it. Out here along 
the long hole in the rock road is very popular with slot canyon guys. There's a bunch of slot canyons that go off to the north of it. And I'm wondering if it might be a little more deserted today because of the kind of threat of rain um, and the heavy clouds. I think Matt must be drifting some of these corners. Yeah, those big city folks. I heard that. This is Dance Hall Rock National Historic Site, and it's named for that rock that you see right there. That was uh, where early Mormon pioneers used to come and use that as basically a concert hall to listen to music, and especially fiddle music, and to dance to it. Some pretty neat sandstone formations here. leaving Dance Hall Rock National Historic Site. Interesting history there. Hey, Boy Scout marker. You see it? At the bottom of this canyon. You're right. A memorial erected to uh, some Boy Scouts and their leaders who in 1963 were coming out here before Lake Powell was formed to, uh, to run the Colorado River and they had some malfunctions with their truck and ended up rolling down the embankment you see there on the left and uh, killed uh, the people you see whose names are listed on the memorial. it is. The Mormon pioneers uh, wanted to get down to the river so this is 
where they found a way to dig through and blast through. We hiked around the rocks above Hole in the Rock, taking in the incredible views. Then we retraced our route along Hole in the Rock Road, searching for a place to camp for the night. We checked out a few, but most were too small for our group of four. Those that weren't were a bit too close to washes, considering the weather forecast for rain that night. We finally did find a suitable location near Batty Caves. This would have to do as we prepared for the incoming foul weather. Exactly right. That's the, it's it's the it's the toll you pay. Yep. To get those last few miles. Way to pay. Or pay to play. That was fun. I mean, we're actually we were on actual slick rock for part of that. I mean, it was yeah. just the you know, the black tracks down the slick mm -hmm. rock. You had to follow the black. Mm -hmm. Especially that one where you came up the hill and then yeah, then it just the road disappeared and you looked over. Now you're on slick rock. Yeah. And it's like, figure out where oh, the road. Okay. Hope it's still straight. Yep. Yep. Better. 